What up, y'all? It's Coffee on the Vid. Back at it, man. And superhero movies done took over the whole movie theater, the cinematic universe over the past decade or so. Like, real talk. Back when I was coming up, we had, you know, the Batman movies, which some would say maybe some of the originals were the best as far as the big screen goes back in that early era. And, you know, there was a few different superhero you know, movies who got their run in the big screen way, way back or whatever, right? Talking about the 80s and 90s. But as time went on, things have just got on a whole nother level. There's been different canon storyline versions of different superheroes that had runs. And then there was a, another version of that same one and, and new ones. And then other ones were different individuals link up together. Like there's just been so much to keep track of at the end of the day. Spider-Man, X-Men, um, uh, it's just hard to keep track of. Like comment which your favorite versions or series of the different superhero movies were. Which ones are the best to you? Like let's get our little ratings discussion going and all that. I'm not even going to sit here in front though and, and talk with y'all and really act like I've kept track of all of them or just done seen them all. You know what I mean? It's so many different ish when it comes to the superhero stuff nowadays but for the most part the newer ones that i've seen i felt like they extended expanded the storyline a little more got more on like a real life level i know that probably sounds crazy like coffee we're talking about superheroes and you're talking about real life like those two things don't mix but what i mean is they've done a better job getting real with it like if those superheroes existed irl you know what it would really possibly be like story-wise different evils that they're fighting with and the government's involvement and things like that it's pretty intriguing the way they went with some of these superhero movies right and the big talk now is the wolverine and deadpool joint that i think just came out i believe so or it's about to drop i think it is out though and uh deadpool i actually really really like those films you know with ryan reynolds he brings the whole dark comedy satirical jokes uh, to the to the big screen with it and man his story was fucking scary the way they did that man lured him in and did all this fucked up experiments on him and had him just all twisted and fucked up and sick and he's out here trying to make the best out of it make lemons lemonade out of lemons do what he can and still find a reason to live and i think his character actually first jumped off in one of the uh because as far as wolverine goes right that's uh the same wolverine from all those uh original x-men movies that jumped off in the early 2000s right like i'm i'm, I'm correct when i'm saying that i believe and um, ryan reynolds appeared in one of those movies but looking different but still playing deadpool if i'm correct comment and let me know as well so the big talk now about all this is is this movie coming out and then with a lot of the promo stuff i've been seeing jumping off on social media i've been seeing blade wesley snipes as blade in a lot of different posts and promo videos and stuff like that and i'm like yo what is this all about are we getting a new blade movie which it seems that we are but uh, the reason why he's been in these promo videos is because I believe he has a cameo in the Wolverine Deadpool movie, which should be pretty interesting to see what that's about. Even though, you know, a cameo can be like a five second thing or it can be a little longer. Is it going to have any real storyline elements to it that we'll see jump off and something else? I don't know. But as far as the new Blade movie goes, it's going to be a reboot. And I think it's still going to be Wesley Snipes, to my understanding. Comment and let me know if I'm wrong on that. Um, I don't know why they got to go the whole reboot route. Isn't there still more story to tell after Blade Trinity? I mean, those Blade movies were good. They were scary, man. Obviously, the, uh, the original Blade, which had ryan reynolds in it as well if i'm not mistaken wasn't he in one of those blade movies uh the second one where those crazy creatures came out of nowhere and they were i remember some scene where they were in nightclubs just decimating a bunch of people and part of their bodies could get decapitated and they could still leave live i don't know if they grew back the missing parts or whatever but it was some scary ish and then obviously blade trinity that had uh triple h as i was always a wrestling fan 
and it was a pretty uh, crazy storyline that was going on in that movie where the whole vampire movement had grown to a whole another level and all along we have a blade you know the day walker like half vampire half human being it was a pretty interesting story and take on it all and then the big news that everyone's talking about now is ryan reynolds and hugh jackman both respectively taking to social media singing praises of wesley snipes and blade and what he did for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As you see, uh, from, we got Ryan Reynolds for saying there is no Fox Marvel Universe or Marvel Cinematic Universe without Blade first creating a market. He's Marvel's daddy. Please retweet for a Logan-like send-off, Deadpool and Wolverine. As you see them, you know, taking some flicks together when they were filming this movie, I guess, and, you know, doing the cameo and all that. And then Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, also reshared this and put dedicated to blade so uh you know that would be accurate right like blade was the first one to to hit the big screen in this newer era of marvel movies of superhero hero movies and you know a, a lot of people that i talked to over the years didn't even actually know that blade came from the comics that he was a, a marvel character and I felt like with a lot of different things that I've watched, whether it be cartoons or movies or stuff like that, Blade has often been left out. So it was pretty cool to see him getting uh, some props here. Not just like Wesley Snipes, the actor, but Blade, the character as well. And getting shown some, getting shown some love and, you know, the news of a reboot coming. Jump in the comments, everyone out there, and let me know what you think about all this. If you're looking forward to a reboot, uh, if you believe that is true, that Blade, the father of all this MCU, that that film, the, that film series, and in the numbers it did, and everything is is what created the market, and you know, studios wanting to get behind pitching other MCU projects and all that and you know where you rate all these different superhero movies period and then just the marvel ones by themselves as well let's discuss it all in the comments and thank y'all for tuning in look forward to seeing what you guys got to say subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one it's coffee signing out y'all peace